you know, I never met anybody who told me, could you help me train a racist model, please? <laughs> right? Um, so there are bad actors out there who will use AI for nasty purposes. Um, I, I would I would say um, you know they were probably nasty before AI and and that's a bigger problem, right? So I think you could say AI is making things a little worse because it scales and because it's uh, you know it's lifelike, etc. Probably. But I think the bigger problem is, you know, uh, how do we how do we deal with you know bad bad actors, and that's not a that's not an AI problem. Um, having said that, you know, and again focusing on the um, I would say you know business apps and enterprise apps, etc. Um, you can look at it both ways, right? You can say, okay. Um, we're super conservative and we're not going to use AI until we're 100% sure it's it's safe. And okay, we think the best way to do this is to have a governance committee with uh, whoever inside the company, uh, you know, think for 12 months about AI and blah, blah, blah. And that's a horrible way to do it. You know, it's the bureaucratic way. I, I see some companies doing that and, and I'm like, okay, all right. Well ping me in twelve months, okay? Ping me in twelve months when you have a when you have a document. And yes, I read the AI Act and um, et cetera, et cetera. So you could argue maybe, you know, EU bureaucrats have nothing else to do, but in, in a company you have better things to do than that. Okay. So a few guidelines, a few risks fine and then start you know start experimenting and that's the second way that's the one i recommend it's like you the only way you will figure out what risk what ai risk means to your organization is by experimenting hmm. and risk is very very different from one not even from one company to the next but from one project to the next <laughs> right because again if you're a bank and if you're uh, if you have a customer facing chatbot because Nico lost his credit card again, right? Man, what are you doing? Yeah, you keep losing stuff, know. man. What's up? I don't know where my head is. <laughs> <laughs> you work too hard. Get some sleep. Um, and uh, yeah, he is overworked. I'm sure. Um, that's one thing, right? The risk here is probably well giving bad answers, like factually wrong answers, or saying something. That could be seen as offensive, and so that's risk. Okay, now you use AI internally for uh, for you know real time trading. Okay, so what what does risk look like here? The risk looks like you know that that model starts doing completely insane things, and you burn a hundred million dollars in th three minutes, right? So what does risk look like? You know, um, again. You need to figure it out. Nobody out there can figure it out. And yes, okay, Meta and Google and Microsoft and so on can do their best to to build open source models that are, you know, not racist, not hateful, not whatever. Um, but okay, I, I think risk is more is more subtle than that, right? Especially in the enterprise world. If you're in healthcare, risk is means one thing. If you're in banking, it's something else. If you're in retail, it's something else. If you're customer facing, it's it's another thing. If you're strictly internal, it's another thing. So you need to experiment, you need to test, you need to push those models into dark corners, right? And see see what they what they tell you, right? Um, hmm. And it could go from yes, uh, very nasty content to just you know content that looks absolutely correct, but is completely uh, you know factually incorrect. And that's that's risk, right? <clears throat> because if you're building a medical chatbot and you give a very serious-looking answer uh, that is completely incorrect, and somebody takes the wrong medication and uh, has a problem mm -hmm. with that, um, you know, that, that's that's the thing. So, um, my opinion, and then again, you know, not I don't think everybody would agree with me, uh, is I am l less concerned with the typical bias stuff which I think is getting fixed um, um, or better understood now. I'm, I'm really more concerned about the, the business problems, you know, like the, 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 the 
incorrect facts, uh, incorrect tone of voice, et cetera, et cetera. I think for enterprise adoption, that's that's what risks look like. Um, and, and so we try to promote, you know, transparency and everything. Um, but at the end of the day, um, again, in an enterprise setting or a start, I mean, when I say enterprise, I mean, you know, like a, a business setting, right? Um, you need to try things out a lot and, and you need to test models. And just funny anecdote, sometimes the model gets in the way. I, I met a customer, I think it was in Poland some months ago. And it's a, it's a company um, who's working for uh, uh, video game studios, trying to detect and, and figure out new hacking uh, <laughs> schemes and fraud schemes and, you know, cheating schemes etc so what do they do they go crawl all kinds of nasty you know hacker criminal um, uh, forums across the world and then they use llms to analyze that and figure things out and they told me all back then you know all the models they tried told them oh sorry i cannot discuss criminal activities and they go oh. well my friend i want you to that's my business case my <laughs> business case is to give you a ton of criminal activity so that you help me understand it, right? So there you go. So, you know, the, the alignment process where, no, I won't tell you how to build a bomb. No, I won't tell you how to murder the president of your country. No, I will not discuss, you know, uh, uh, online fraud, etc. is actually a problem because it's the problem you want to solve. So you also need models that are not aligned, right? Mm. Where, where safeguards are actually off because... That's a problem that, right? that only the open source community can actually solve, right? Because yes. that's the hundred percent. So yeah. we if you look at Hugging Face, we actually have you know baseline models that are not aligned. And yes, if you ask them uh generate uh you know racist stuff, they will. But uh, if you ask them, hey, uh, you know, uh, I'm a law enforcement agency or, um, or whatever, and here's you know, here, here's a transcript from a uh, 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 two drug dealers having a conversation, summarize it, they will. And and that's that's what you want, right? So uh, in that particular, particular case. So like I said, risk is a very, um, is a moving target. And uh, and the, the internal assessment by the builder, by, by, the, by the company builder, by the startup builder, by the enterprise builder is where you will decide yes this model is a little better than this one um or and and here's what i could do on top you know realign it etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, so again trying to be very pragmatic about this and not you know too philosophical mm -hmm. um i mean i love philosophers it philosophers and ethics fine you know researchers fine but I, I i'm sorry to say or i'm happy to say depending on the day I live in the enterprise trenches where people need to get things done and they don't want to be too philosophical about it. They just need to understand risk and manage it. 